Hello everyone, yeah, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Marations 31 Days of Halloween, where we do a video each day based on your suggestions. And returning to the world of Two Sentence Horror, when you break down a story to its original components, and it still maintains its essence. We picked a few more from our uh, from the Reddit as well as some of our comments section. Some scary, some funny, but anyway, let's have a look. I accidentally walked into the girl's restroom and saw my girlfriend taking off her face. Run. We'd like to work up an appetite before the feast. My heart pounded when I heard the intruder, as I reached for my knife with trembling hands. I get to do anything I want to them. I thought with excitement, donning my night vision goggles and hitting the circuit breaker. For eight months now, no one's even acknowledged me. Things have been really weird since my operation. Every face you see in your dream is a stranger's face that you've seen in real life. How cool is that? My friend exclaimed. I nodded and smiled, trying not to think of the faceless figures that visit me each night. An anonymous admirer letter was slipped under your door at your college. It would seem sweet if it hadn't come from the closet. As I grabbed my phone, I was surprised at the reflection on the black screen. That wasn't me. As the miles went by, hiding in my girlfriend's back seat didn't seem like a funny prank anymore. I relaxed when she said, you can come out now, until a demonic figure materialized right in the seat next to her. I recently taught myself Morse code. I wish I didn't, however. Now the bird's pecking at the window, telling me it's coming. With this lunatic close behind me, I banged on the door of the nearest house screaming for help. A grinning man swung open the door, and I heard a voice behind me. See, Dad? I told you she'd run to the only house with the lights on. Every second, I could feel myself dying, and every second, I could feel myself living again. Damn Schroner and his fucking box! I remember as a kid, I would fall asleep on the couch and wake up back in my bed. I've run away twice now, and it keeps happening. My son was scared of everything, even his own shadow. After seeing the slender black silhouette hovering above his bed, I finally understood why. Muffled and in darkness, she felt cold metal rain down on her face from meters above. Meanwhile, Hoping for the return of their missing girl, the townsfolk would drop coins into their wishing well. I stared at the mirror, watching as tears ran down in my reflection. It reached up when I did, touching its face where I did. But I didn't feel any tears. I know for a fact that my dog always barks at strangers. You could probably understand my dread I felt when my security camera displayed an unknown man rummaging through my kitchen accompanied by my dog, who was happily wagging his tail. When the officer told me they found my husband's body by the riverbed, I felt my knees go weak, and was in stunned silence. I had buried him in the woods behind the house, so how did he get to the other side of town? As I hold my wife's hand, and remain silent while the nurses kept telling her to push, I couldn't help but feel a sense of dread with this pregnancy. Yesterday, she wasn't pregnant. I tried picking some flowers for Mama. After the nice man picked me up from school. For some reason, my hand keeps going through them. I hope Mama doesn't mind. I woke up naked in a forest with a hangover. Man, those aliens knew how to party. But that about does it for this video. If you have any topics for future projects, then feel free to post them down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why not like, 
and make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Still slowly recovering from the deletion. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Anyway, I'm Runya, invite you to join us again for the next night. Weep not for children, for life is this way, murdering beauty and i